This is the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Hello, hello, hello. Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. And today we have both good news and bad news. And the bad news is the world economy is collapsing. But the good news is the number one investment that everybody in the world can afford is silver. Everybody. And that's the good news. But will most people buy it? No. They'll save money instead. And they'll save money in, in spite of the fact that they're printing trillions of it. So our guest today is Silver Slayer. And he comes from the great state of Ohio. And I want, he's a silver enthusiast. So we're going to interview <laughs> him as to why he thinks silver I mean, that's pretty narrow bandwidth there, silver. You know, most people are into stocks, bonds, wheels, and all this stuff, but why silver? So anyway, welcome to the program, Mr. Silver, Slayer, Slayer. Nice to have you, and thank you so much. I appreciate this opportunity, so. Well, thank you. And the thing, what I thought was funny, after I invited you on, you um, did this spectacular, uh, I don't want to call it a podcast, but you, you called me a celebrity, and I started cracking up. Because, you are. Well, I don't think I am. am I, do I think I'm a celebrity? No, you, you text me and you said, am I a celebrity? <laughs> I mean, you are in the investing world, so. Well, well, in the silver world especially. Yeah. So anyway, um, let me ask you this. A young guy like you, how did you get turned on to silver? Um, I don't know. It, it clicked from the beginning. I... I kind of started researching various different things, um, you know, even going as far as real estate, but something about silver clipped. It started with gold. And I think with most people, gold's the mascot. And then they right. hear about this more affordable, uh, more opportunistic investment, which is silver. And it clicked right away. Uh, I found the silver stacking community on YouTube and kind of um, just went down that rabbit hole. Uh, and it's probably been about 2014 when I really started stacking. So, and the yeah. reason I say it is the number one. I mean, let's say I can buy today even a silver eagle or a silver buffalo or a silver bar, and I'm paying about 20 to 25 bucks. Now, everybody in the world can afford 20 to 25 bucks, but very few people know about it. And so that's yeah. why I think this is a very important Rich Dad radio show because it's about the number one investment everybody in the world can afford as the whole world economy collapses on top of you. So yeah. let me explain, ask you this. So what do you like about silver? Because I know why I like it. I'll uh -huh. go into that. There's a, there's a million things. I mean, I, I call it the perfect investment. Um, even back in like biblical times, they thought silver was magical. Silver can purify water. You put silver in milk, it keeps the milk fresh longer. You know, it, it responds to other metals like like no, nothing else. You know, it's the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity, electricity, even light sensitivity. It, it's scarce, but it's it's more for me lately the industrial sector. Not only the monetary, like a lot of people focus on but the industrial sector, right. we need so much silver heading forwards. The green new deal just started. We exceeded 1.112 billion ounces this year alone. How many billions of ounces by the year 2030, but we could barely keep up with that demand already. I mean, solar panels increasing electric vehicles by the year 2030, every automobile company, how, where's that silver going to come from? We don't have enough. And I think for me, my stance is I think that's really what's going to take the price forwards is the lack of silver. But also including that with the monetary side of things, I mean, nothing else makes as much sense. <laughs> Boy, you, just, are you are enthusiastic, Mr. Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm past, I mean, so, yeah, I try, I try to reach the person that's never even invested a single dollar. You know, yeah. that's, that's my goal. And I, 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 I enthusiastically support what you do. At Rich Dad, we have the definition of intelligences. If you agree with me, you're intelligent. So you're a very intelligent young man. <laughs> I, you. FYI, if I could correct something, I, I thank you for calling me a celebrity, but you can ask Sarah, that's, that's not why I do it. I think I do it for the same reason you do what we do. We have to educate people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I really like that as well, you know, um, I say I say celebrity because you really are in the investing world of 
I can't imagine how many people you got into the world of silver. I mean, I get emails all the time. You know, I started stacking silver because you, you know, I have a very small channel, you know, compared to your platform. Um, I'm sure you've saved so many people's lives. I mean, it, I mean, it's true, though. You know, we're talking about uh, financial security and, and putting our money into something that holds its value. You know, it's pretty important. So. Well, really, we're, we're saving them from financial stupidity. That's yeah. the reason you buy silver, you know what I mean? <laughs> so let me give a little bit of my background really quick, because you said I'm kind of new to this. I'm not new to this. I, I became a silver bug in 1964. Oh, wow. Right. Wow. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you say I'm kind of. Uh, and there is, I was 17 years old in 1964. I was holding up a dime. You know, and then the dime had copper on it. I'm like, the shit's going on here? And I, and that I didn't know this at the time because I'm only 17 years old. You know, I'm a surfer kid, flunking out of high school and all this. I'm looking at this dime going, and then I saw the quarter had copper around it. And then back then we had half dollars, and I saw this copper around it. I'm going, something's on here. But for the, um, <clears throat> it took me years to find out later on that I was looking at Gresham's Law. And Gresham's law states when bad money enters the system, good money goes into hiding. So at 17 years old, I used to caddy, you know, I, you know, I go and take golf club, you know, carry golf clubs around. And I go to my bank and I would buy silver uh, dimes and quarters, not nickels. And then I'd look for all the ones with a copper on them and I'd throw it back in the bag and take it back to the bank, but I kept all the silver coins. Again, that's Gresham's Law. And the reason I, I, I like what you're saying, Mr. S Mr. Silver Slayer, is that Gresham's Law is in full force right now. Bad money is pumping into this system, and all these idiots, you know, it's called financial stupidity, they're saving dollars. You gotta be kidding yeah. me. And they're printing they're printing so much money, and the beauty of silver, let me say it again, everybody in the world can afford 20 bucks, or you can afford a dime, you know what I mean? You can go to a coin store yeah. and say, I'd like a, a 1963 dime. You might pay a buck for it. But that's how stupid people are. They don't realize that silver has not only been an industrial metal, but it's also a monetary metal. It's been used as you know, payments for years and years and years. So I was 17 years old, I'm going to that, and it took me to 1972, when after Nixon took the dollar off the gold standards, and now what's going on there? And if you read my books, I'm talk, I talk about flying, I was a Marine pilot in Vietnam. I flew behind enemy lines because the NVA, North Vietnamese Army, overran the position of the gold mine but I was such a gold bug, <laughs> I flew behind enemy lines and tried wow. to negotiate gold at a better price. <laughs> and back then, gold was just, it went from 35 to 50. And I write about it, I'm standing in front of this little woman, Vietnamese woman with red teeth because they chewed betel nuts. <laughs> and my, and my co-pilot and I, and we're both college graduates, and um, <clears throat> I said, I will, I'll, I'll take gold at a discount. She looked, she just looked at me. I said, you know, it was 35 to 50. I thought maybe she'd sell it to me for 40. And with, wow. a, little red tea, with a little red tea, she goes, spot, spot. I said, what? <laughs> do, do, oh, do that's I, great. Do I have a spot on my shirt or what? <laughs> so here's this woman. I doubt she went to Harvard. And I don't think she's an economics degree. But she was schooling two Americans who had no idea wow. what spot meant. So what does spot mean to you, Mr. Slayer? Spot price. What does that mean to you? Spot price is what the uh, the price of silver is. Actually, spot price is irrelevant. If you want to get real deep, I mean, spot price is irrelevant, but that's what the set price of silver is at any, any, you know, at any point throughout the day. But premiums nowadays um, kind of... Race I, I understand. Price is. Uh, you get you get yeah. in too deep on this thing. <laughs> so because uh, look, I'm a U.S. Marine. You know, Marines aren't the brightest matches in the box. I just keep it simple. Spot is the price of that product all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've always recommended gold and silver because it's universal. It's global money. Also, yeah. gold and gold and silver are God's money. 
It wasn't printed by the Federal Reserve Bank or the Bank of England or the Bank of Tokyo. Gold and silver were put here by God. I'm not really religious, but they're on the periodic table of elements, you know? Mm -hmm. I I forget what's gold something and silver 74 or something like that. So that's why I recommend gold and silver, but it took me to 1972 to stand in front of this little Vietnamese woman in front of her gold, and that wasn't a gold mine, but she was a, she was the vendor for the mine. And she goes, spot. And I was doing my best to negotiate the thing down because if she's behind enemy lines, I should get a discount. <laughs> and she, she could give a shit. <laughs> and that's when I became a gold bug and a silver bug. Anyway, that's kind of my story. So I'm not an FNG, you know, a fucking new guy to this whole thing. I'm hardcore, and I've, you know, I, I'm always on Lear Capital saying I recommend silver and things uh, like uh, that. And I think it's the biggest, biggest bargain. Again, this is October 2022. It's still about 20 bucks. I was yeah, buying okay. silver at 50 bucks. Everything else has gone up. Even gold's gone up. But silver stays depressed. And yeah. if you don't take advantage of this, they're idiots, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's honestly insane, you know. Like, like if we could fast forward um, in the future, or or even back in time, and say this is what's going on in the economy right now, you know, yada yada yada, the dollar. What do you think silver's price is? Uh, and I'm sure everyone would say it's probably hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars, but it's not. You know, on paper it should be, but then you could go into you know, manip- uh, manipulation or whatever's going on. But um, in my opinion, you can't throw dollars to, or no, no matter how many dollars you throw at silver or throw against silver is going to be able to stop the inevitable, you know. And there's, um, one, and there's one more big thing about silver. It's consumed. Yeah. Generally yeah, gold. that's, yeah. Gold is not consumed. It's yeah. stored. They stack, yep. sol- they stack gold. They burn silver. Yeah. Am I correct on that? Yeah, gold is a monetary. It's used for jewelry, coins, bars, a little bit in electron. I used to scrap gold out yeah. of cell phones, but silver is mainly used in the industrial world. It's used for everything, you know, solar panels, electric vehicles, 5G towers, silver lithium ion batteries, everything. There's even colloidal silver in the medical world. Um, and, and I can't imagine, you know, um, I always say Elon Musk is like the mascot. Imagine a day where Elon Musk comes out and says, <clears throat> says, you know, we have to cut down the amount of uh, Tesla production because we don't have enough silver. Or the Green New Deal has to, um, you know, get prolonged or something because we don't have enough silver. And that would be the reality. And that, that silver is literally what's going to save the planet. I mean, we're talking about global warming and climate change, but... How are we, where, where are we going to find the silver to make these solar panels at this rate? You know, it's not realistic. And that's, that's the craziest part about this, you know? Um, yeah. hey, so we're going we're to go to a break, but I think I want to thank you one, cause you were talking about, you were quoting my, I think my tweet or something where <clears throat> there's micro and macro economics, all this. So macro silver is being depleted. It's used for the green new deal. The question is, can you get any of it? And that's what we'll go into right now because as you, as I tweeted, as I, you quoted me, as I called my gold, my gold and silver guy, who I've been dealing with him for 25 years. He says, I can't get silver. When we okay. come back, we'll be talking about what's going on in the silver market and why in my opinion and Slayer's opinion that silver is the best investment October 22, 10, 2022. As the world economy collapses and you don't buy silver around $20 an ounce, you're the biggest loser of all. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, it's Sarah at the Rich Dad Radio Show. Let me tell you, good sleep is the ultimate game changer and the 8 Sleep Pod is the ultimate sleep machine. I live in Arizona. It's over 100 degrees today and it's only expected to get hotter throughout the week. And the pod is the only sleep technology that dynamically cools and heats each side of the bed to maintain the optimal sleeping temperature for what your body needs. With the pod, you can start sleeping as cool as 55 degrees Fahrenheit or as hot as 110 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and clinical data shows that eight sleep users experience up to 19% increase in recovery, up to 32% improvement in sleep quality, and up to 34% more deep sleep. And 8sleep recently just launched the next generation of the pod. The new pod 3 enables more accurate sleep and health tracking with double the amount of sensors delivering you the best sleep experience on earth. And all you need to do is go to 8sleep.com slash richdad to start sleeping cool this summer and save up to $150 on the pod. 8sleep currently ships within the USA, Canada, the UK, select countries in the EU and Australia. Feeling powerless over current events and your financial future? Financial freedom is your freedom. Robert Kiyosaki is the best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Over 40 million people have taken Robert's advice. Now it's your turn. Attend Robert's free virtual wealth building event. Claim your free access now at richdadfree.com. Don't wait. Access is limited. Go to richdadfree.com. That's richdadfree.com. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. The bad news, the world economy is collapsing. The good news is the best investment is cheaper than ever before. And the good news is everybody in the world can afford to buy some silver. And as I said in Rich Dad Poor Dad, it came out 25 years ago, savers are losers. And these idiots are still saving money. And the Fed is printing it like crazy. The English pound almost went down. The Japanese yen is about to take a dive. China is in serious trouble because they have the biggest real estate bubble in the world. And people, is, <laughs> and the Fed has been printing trillions of dollars and people are still saving money. You've got to be crazy. So you can listen to the Rich Dad Radio program anytime, anywhere on iTunes, Android, or uh, YouTube. And the reason we do that is so you can listen to this again and again and again. But most important, if you go to richdadradio.com, you can listen to this podcast again. And the most important thing about the reason we replay it is get together with your friends who need salvation and find out that they too can afford to buy in October 22, because things are going to change really quickly from here. October 22, the biggest investment bargain in the world is silver. Uh, you can buy a, a silver, but about 20 bucks US, 20 bucks. Everybody in the world can afford 20 bucks. Even a beggar on the street makes more money than 20 bucks a day, you know what I mean? But they'd rather save the dollar. I mean, it is ridiculous. So I guess today is Silver Slayer. Uh, his, used, his, his YouTube channel is Silver Slayer Official. And I'm honored to have you on the program. I and mean, you call me a celebrity, but you and I are in the <laughs> same bolt of cloth. We do what we do because we need to educate people because yeah. they need they need salvation, you know. <laughs> so, I, yeah. So let me ask this question. Give me two other reasons why people should buy silver other than the fact that it's cheap. <laughs> um, I think that uh, the two most important reasons are it's like putting your money in a time capsule. I'm just going to give one short um kind of explanation of how this could apply and how it did apply in real life. A walking Liberty half dollar back in the day could get you a gallon of gas, 50 cents, right? A gallon of gas. A half dollar, That's, 50 cents. Yeah. That same exact coin can get you a gallon of gas today. Not the 50 cents face value, but I could take that walking Liberty, walk down to my local coin shop, sell it for $10 and get myself a couple gallons of gas. The same coin can get me back in the day what it can today. Nothing That's else great- can do that. That's a great yeah. metaphor, great analogy. Yeah. That's and the um, reason. Uh, I would say the other reason is um, probably it's just it's money. Um, I, I I mean, the dollar's lost 98% of its original purchasing power. If you keep $50,000 in your bank account compared to $50,000 in silver, I mean, what would happen? You know, the, it, it's, it's something that I think um, a lot of people are under – uh, I guess underestimating, like like when you were saying that in the beginning, um, you know, you could buy a silver right now for twenty eight dollars. I pictured some people like five years from now watching this and saying, "Man, I wish I I listened to him." Right? You know, you know, it, it's it's something that um, I feel like too many people are going to be uh, looking back on, wishing that they did listen. 
Well, there's another reason that like, you know, when I, um, I own silver mines, I started a gold mine, I mean, a silver mine in Argentina and a gold mine in China. <laughs> and I own the richest gold mine in the world in Utah. Wow. So I'm a gold and silver fanatic. I am nuts on this whole thing. But you know, when <clears throat> the biggest advantage is like when I buy silver coins, like the Eagles, mm-hmm. and then this is a recommending Eagles so you can't get them today, gold or silver, but that stuff will last. I mean, if I bought let's say a box of 500, I call them green boxes or yellow boxes, depending what they are. So 500 silver Eagles. You know, I can give them as Christmas presents every year or birthday presents and all that. And guess what? If your kid or relative hangs on to that, it'll last as long as they live. It'll always be valuable. You give them five bucks, it's toast. Does that make, you know what I mean? It's it's the intrinsic long lasting value of what you can do today. This is October, 2022, because my prediction is, and we'll get to the, what your prediction will be, 2022, silver is the biggest bargain in the world. And every loser on planet Earth can afford 20 bucks, but they wouldn't know even where to find it, which is why our friend Andy Sheckman is a good guy, because you can still yeah. get gold and silver from him. I couldn't get it from my dealer, but Andy yeah. can, Andy Sheckman can do yeah. it. Yeah, he's one of the few authorized mm-hmm. dealers. Yeah, he's a good friend. He, he kind of took me under his wing recently um, brought a lot of opportunities to me. So I'm grateful for him. Um, Good. but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I look at, um, like Eagles coins like that as, um, it, it's, it's kind of risky in terms of premiums. Um, because what's a premium be, versus what's a premium versus spot? Uh, uh, spot price is what you could get silver at. Well, what the price is premium is however many dollars on top that you have to pay. So let's say spot price is $20, but you have to pay $24 and 50 cents for that coin. That's a $4 and 50 cent premium. That, and um, that's, that's primarily on Eagles. So I don't buy yeah. Eagles or I yeah, don't buy Eagles, Eagles yes. anymore. Yeah. Buy, Eagles have it. I buy Buffaloes cause it's yeah. less and bars are even less. Yeah. I saw your tweet. I actually made a video uh, yesterday about, <laughs> uh, yeah, I cover it. I mean, I love covering her stuff and people, you know, that, that are that have bigger names. There's a lot of billionaires actually recently that have been coming out as well. Um, I'm sure you heard about that lady from Texas, that billionaire that bought $50 million of silver from Andy. Um, it's it, Warren Buffett, Jim Rogers, you know, big names are stepping up. And I think that's going to give a lot of more notoriety to silver yeah. as well. So I want to just make plug myself right now. I was 17 years old in 1964, and I realized silver was it. Yeah, you know, that's Gresham's it. law. Gresham's law is when bad money enters a system, good money goes into a hiding, and the Federal Reserve Bank cannot print much more. I don't know if they can print much more. They're going to try to, but everybody who's saving dollars is going to be the biggest loser of all. So that's why you and I speak about silver. I'll say it again: everybody in the world can afford a twenty-dollar silver coin without the premium. So my question for you is this, what is, everybody wants to know, well, how much is it going to go to? But uh, before I ask you that question, why is the price of silver suppressed? Um, Well, silver's a direct threat to the US dollar. I mean, it's um, directly or negatively correlated, direct and negatively correlated. You know, when the dollar index is high, silver's low. What were you gonna say? Can I add something, when I'm so old, I used to pick up a dollar, U.S. dollar, a paper dollar. It had a silver certificate on it. Mm. You could redeem it for silver. Today it says Federal Reserve note. Yeah, you know what <laughs> we say in the Marine Corps: stand over and pick up the bend over and pick up the soap in the shower. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> you're getting screwed. The Federal yeah. Reserve is screwing you, but you're still trying to save that Federal Reserve note. But they already told you, and they broadcast it. There's no longer a silver certificate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and, oh, sorry. Uh, to answer your question a little further, um, when you have your money, actual dollars, even stocks, you are in. You are um, basically, you know, a slave to the system. You know, they have power, control over you. When right. you're in debt, when you're in debt, you're a slave to the system. Right. Anything 
anything pegged to the dollar, when it collapses, you're going down with it. It's like switching seats on the Titanic. As yeah. soon as you put as soon as you put that that dollar into silver, you've taken the power away from them and put it into your own hands. They don't want that. You know, yeah. even cryptocurrency, decentralized Bitcoin, as soon as you buy crypto, you took the power away from them and right. you are in complete control of your wealth. They don't want that. Right. So, so let me ask you this question. What happened with JP Morgan? They got fined for manipulation. Do you know much they, about that? <clears throat> yes, I know a lot about it. I've been covering JP Morgan doing this for a long time. It's called spoofing. It's when they will place fake buy or sell orders on these exchanges and cancel the order before it goes through with the intent to cancel it. See, the problem is you're allowed to cancel orders. So how can you catch someone when they're doing it, you know, um, you know, premeditated. So um, what it does is it tricks everyone else on the market to see the volume and thinking that the market's going to do something else than it really is. So then it influences those other people to place more buy or sell orders. And they're basically, um, you know, manipulating so other people. Right. Let yeah. me ask you this, you know, I, I don't, I don't have gold or silver ETFs cause I don't trust anything that's paper. <laughs> I just don't trust it. So why wouldn't you trust a silver SLV silver as ETF? My favorite, <clears throat> my favorite saying is, if you can't hold it, you don't own it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm going to quote you from that one out. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth, though. You know, and, and actually on the COMEX, um, you know, the, the, the ounce of silver you hold in your hand, theoretically, 250 other people own the same ounce online, digitally. But you're the only one that owns it, right? That, that's, you know, that's another really important thing to note of is, you know, if it's on, if it's, it's good as stocks, if it's, you know, silver that's on, you know, a screen, just a digit. Yeah. My saying is if they print it, I don't want it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's really quite simple. So let me ask this other question. Is it possible that the SLV, which is the gold, the silver ETF and GLD, which is the gold ETF, are you saying that there are more ETFs there's more paper gold and silver than real gold and silver. Yes, yes, tenfold. And I think one day the COMEX will collapse. Some people say it will a lot sooner, but <clears throat> I think that eventually the um, the the facade will will um, come crashing down. I mean, the LBMA and COMEX vaults are near empty now, um, <clears throat> and uh, I don't see how they can keep this up for much longer. And uh, <clears throat> when this does happen, I, I think that will even uh, expose silver's true value. Uh, you know, I, I mean, a lot of people say that silver's price could could skyrocket from this, this, or this, or this. It's not a matter of which one you know sparks the flame. It's just it's all going to. I mean, nothing else. I could give you ten reasons why silver's going to explode in the next ten years. I can give you ten reasons why stocks will crash in the next ten years. You know, so. And so my, my prediction is, and predictions are only as just, they're just predictions, yeah. they don't mean anything. So don't believe a word I say. But I think silver is gonna to go to 100 to 500 by 2025. That's my, that's my guess, and it's, it's wishful thinking and all this, but I also do it the same reason why they pump silver and all that, they dump silver and all this stuff, is to get, it's called forward guidance, you know, so either people get excited or they dump it. So what is, what is, do you have a prediction? Let's say we're 2025, which is three years from now. It's funny because when I talk about triple digit silver, that's the exact year I say. Um, I say 2025, really? must be 2026. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I, I say that um, because I feel like by then we'll be deep enough into the Green New Deal. By, by then we'll be deep enough to where big industry will realize they don't have enough. Right now, you and I know this. You know, the listeners know this, but um, I feel like by then, what will, how many billions of ounces will we need by then? You know, um, so wait, wait, wait. If, so, what, so what you're saying is the industrial use alone yeah. will drive up the price. It, and it, what I'm saying is the corruption price alone yes. will drive the, you know, the, the fake gold, fake silver is yes. going to drive the price up. So that's, one is the real the, reason and one is a corrupt reason. Yes, that's insane to think about. We could go on just off yours alone and it would be a strong reason to buy silver. But 
to also add that factor in what, what I was talking about, it's, 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 it's almost overwhelming. You know, it, if someone else came up, let's say someone saw this, this interview for the first time that never heard about silver. Um, and they heard this, if, if it didn't click for them, I don't know what will, you know, or someone that's investing in the stocks that hears about this. If they um, try to disregard it, that means it's either ego driven, you know, they have a biased opinion. They, they don't want to admit that maybe something else is better or um, they're just silly because it, it, nothing makes as much sense. So, Mr. Slayer, I thank you for your contribution for the younger generation. Like I said, I was 17 years old in 1964, that's and I knew we were being screwed. Something told me. But that's been going on for centuries. You know, the the, the Romans used to cl- trip the, clip the silver off of coins to pay the Roman soldiers. I mean, they were, uh-huh. they were screwing, you know, their own soldiers. But that's wow. what the Fed and the Treasuries are doing, that Wall Street's doing right now. So I appreciate your contribution. Keep up the good work. And then uh, how do people get in touch with you and all this? Um, my YouTube channel is Silver Slayer. If you just Google it, um, I think that's the best way. Right now, I'm just trying to push that. You could also email me, info.silverslayer at gmail.com. But, um, you know, I make daily silver stacking videos on YouTube, a lot of different types of stuff. So um, I think that you guys would enjoy it if you liked what you heard on this podcast. All right, so thank you for your contribution, Mr. Slayer. And we come back, we'll go on the final words on why I think silver is the best investment of the world today, October 22nd. We'll be right back. Thank you, Slayer. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Again, the bad news, the world economy is collapsing. The good news is the best investment of the world is silver. This is October, 2022. It'll probably change pretty quickly. So that's why the date, October 2022, very important date here. And the best investment in the world is silver. Today it's about $20 an ounce, approximately, plus plus premiums and all the other stuff. But I was buying silver 20 years ago, 30 years ago, at $50 an ounce. Think about that. It is still half off. And exactly as and uh, Silver Slayer talks about, there is, the demand's going to keep going up. The, the demand's going to keep going up, and everybody can afford twenty bucks. So pull your head out of you know what, and find you know talk to Andy Sheckman. Uh, what what is this? What is this company? Miles Franklin. Miles Franklin, because he, he can get silver. I can't get silver from some of my dealers. That's how bad it is. I can't get gold either because people know the U.S. dollar is trash. So it's all, all fiat, fiat stands for government. I call it fake money. People are waking up to the idea that money is fake. The U.S. dollar is fake. And that started in 1971 when the Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. But as I said, it's actually started in 1964 when I was 17 years old and I saw a silver coin was copper when somebody's screwing me. So with that said, that's why I want to thank Slayer. I, I love his due diligence. He understands his stuff. He's well, please tune into his site, Silver Slayer, and stay tuned as what he has to say because this market is going to be volatile as hell. Don't miss it. Any comments there, Sarah? Yeah, I, I really appreciated his kind of... Um Wisdom. Wisdom as such a young guy and he is so passionate about spreading the word the yeah, word yeah. and getting, you know, everybody educated. Um he talks about silver stacking and I, so that's what we my brother and sister in law have said for my nieces, no more Christmas gifts. I don't want toys, clothes, shoes for them. They're ten and eleven. Um, only buy them silver. Right. And I just love that like foresight for them because I'm thinking when they're 21, you know, where could this be for them? Or, you know, and, and they could pass it on to their kids. Absolutely. So tons of opportunity. And I love that you stress that this is the number one affordable investment for everyone who, who knows where it'll be in a year, but, but you're right. I think that's the key is, you know, Kim and, and you always talk about getting your feet wet, just getting a little bit of skin in the game. And this is your perfect opportunity. Right. And so. I'll say it again, back in the eighties, I forgot when I was buying silver at 50. And I thought I was Donald Trump, you know, the thing, damn thing crashed. So I bought more. 
And today I have tons of the stuff. I own a silver mine, I own gold mines. Yeah. I own tons, of course, not, of course they're in storage vaults all over the world because I don't trust, you know, I don't trust the US government, period. Anything the government can print, I don't want. It's that simple. Is there something, um, you know, cause we're talking about buffaloes and eagles. Um, can you talk about new numismatic coins and why you generally stay away from those? Yeah, numismatic is like antique coins. You know, and you have to be an expert at it. But a lot of times you'll go into a silver dealer or a gold dealer. You know, I, I go to Jerry Williams here, American Precious Metals. And he doesn't, He you know, he has them, but he won't sell them to me because he, I know better. Yeah. You know, that's like saying, well, this, 19, <laughs> this, ni- this 1956 Ford is worth this. Well, I don't know anything about 56 Fords. You know, it might be, it might not be. But I just want liquidity. That's great. You know, I don't want to know about the potential value of it and of all these other reasons. Anybody tries to sell you a numismatic, I wouldn't say run, but you better get educated before you buy something. Yeah, and that's a lot like, you know, Jim Rickards talks about fine art. Yeah. And that's kind of the same same yeah. same realm. You have to, for it to be liquid, you have to have an expert who's willing to buy it for, you know, whatever. But... So that's a good point. So thank you for answering that because I've always wondered. Yeah, it's not bad, but you've got yeah. to be really, really smart. I'm not a car, I mean, I love cars, but I don't know much about cars. So like, you know, there was a, there was a movie called The Bullet with Steve McQueen. They drove a 68 Mustang. I've always wanted one, but I'll never buy one. Number one, because I can't fix them. And number two, I wouldn't know if it was good or bad, but I'd rather buy a, a brand new Mustang, go to the dealer and say, fix it if it's broken, you know what I mean? <laughs> And the, the biggest thing about gold and silver, it's world money, it's global money. I can carry it anywhere in the world and there's a market for it, it's liquid. I can get in and out of it in a day. The trouble with real estate, and I love real estate, as you know, real estate is de- available for a different reason, it's debt and taxes. I buy a lot of real estate on debt and I pay no taxes. But I save my money, I don't save dollars, I save gold and silver. Now if I need the money, I can go to Jerry um, Jerry Williams, American Precious Metals, and I can, you know, liquid. Yeah. I'll be liquid that day. Right. It gives me cash for it. Right. So that's for liquidity, where real estate is not liquid. And so those are some of the fine thing differences. But I liked what uh, Stacker or Slayer was saying. The demand for silver with the Green New Deal and all this stuff is only gonna go up, and they can't produce it fast enough. Yep. Yep. And so it's 20 bucks, 2022, October 2022, as the world economy, you know, the, the pound, the English pound collapsed, the Chinese, the Japanese yen is going to collapse, the Chinese yuan is in trouble, it's probably going to go to a crypto gold back yuan. But all the Americans who are saving dollars are living in la la land. So please listen to what Slayer is talking about. And buy some final words. Or- final words is it was just great to hear a different perspective and have a, a young voice on who's really advocating, you know, for education yeah. in these assets. Yeah. So because you don't really hear gold and silver coming out of mouths of young people. No, you know, it's no. all about Bitcoin. So, so it was just really refreshing. Right. The other thing too is about don't buy paper, gold and silver ETFs. Right. Because there might not be any gold or silver there. It, it's one of the biggest con jobs I've ever seen. All right, so I want to thank Mr. Slayer and thank you all for listening to the Rich Dad Radio Show.